people have taken their money in and they can't get their money out. And I said it, the national security implications of all of this has not been considered. Because the last thing we want is another answers. People have their money in the banks and they can't even go and buy their regular stuff that they need to live just because money has been sucked in. So people in Abuja, the villa, the CB, and sit down and make policies, and they do not think about, about people. It is very reassuring today that we saw elders. Mm. They don't need to say a word. Yeah. Just the optics itself will calm things down. Any society that does not have elders, that society is lost. You saw the elders came in. General Yakubu Gohon, Abdul Salam Abu Bakar, uh, Basenjo, General Basenjo was virtual, and uh, President Jonathan, and they met the president. Even if they didn't say a word, that optics alone is reassuring to people. So we'll talk about that governor that say we don't have elders in, in the north. Mm. They are the elders. No, you're not the elders. We'll talk about him when we get there. These are the real elders. The real elders, when we see them, we are reassured that things are going. Not the elders that come and throw tantrums. So the elders are calming things down, and the president is listening. And I hope he does the right thing. As the CBN, to do what he should have done. This policy should not even have started if they were not ready.